This is BigCountryHomePage.com Sports with David Robinette. Let's start with college football. The Southland Conference released, uh, announced today that they are planning to play a full schedule in 2020, and they released the preseason poll in football. The ASU Wildcats picked to finish the new season in seventh place. The Wildcats returned 17 players that started at least two games last year. Former Sweetwater star Kobe Clark is one of those returners. He set a school record with 87 receptions last year. And he's looking for more in 2020. I just need, I think I just need to uh, continue to work on my game, continue to reckon, like just become a smarter football player, um, recognizing coverages. I think that's a big part that I need to work on in my game. Um, Here's a look at some of the Southland Conference preseason poll. The Wildcats picked seventh. Central Arkansas is picked to win the championship. Sam Houston is second and Nichols is third. Now to high school football. On Tuesday, the UIL announced that Class 6A and 5A are starting late with Class 4A and under starting on time this school year. We talked to our Class 6A and 5A schools on Tuesday. Tonight, Max talked to Brownwood and Clyde to find out how the announcement impacted them. Yesterday, the UIL decided to delay 5A and 6A football games to September 24th. However, Class 1A to 4A football will remain on the same schedule. Practice is expected to start August 3rd and games on August 27th. To say coaches of Class 4A and under are relieved is an understatement. Yeah, I'm really excited to get that news yesterday um, that we can continue on, on on our path and start on August 3rd. And guys were working hard all summer, and so it was a relief to them to know that we can continue on uh, as scheduled and, and we look forward to getting started. The Brownwood Lions specifically look to have game scheduling issues initially, but the Lions only have to replace one game on their schedule for the fall. So we were able to uh, maintain that game on our schedule with Wiley, so it'll be our fifth game. It'll be their first. Uh, and then I got news late yesterday evening that uh, McClendon County has shut down their school systems. Uh, they're starting later, so uh, China Springs will not be available to play on 9-11. Uh, uh, that's week three for us, so I was able to scramble. We picked up uh, Springtown. So for us, those are the, that's the only change in our schedules. Obviously, the players in the surrounding area are also excited to get back on the field, especially the seniors. For now, teams can move past the possible cancellation of the season and focus on the task at hand. It's great news for us because we've, been, we've just been working and getting ready for the season come August 3rd and that's that's exactly what we got yesterday and just a great opportunity for some of these some of these kids from the smaller schools to get noticed it's like some of us are so it's just great news for us I'm extremely happy about it you know getting to play my senior year uh, for the Brownwood Lions I've uh, been going since seventh grade and uh, just being able to finish and uh, play my last season for big country homepage.com sports I'm Max Preston thanks a lot Max that's the sports back to you guys